So, okay, the, the plane is in cold and dark mode, and right now we have this GPU connected, which, uh, if I remember correctly, if I go to the drone view, uh, how did I, how do you, uh, the drone view was with this weird controls, yes, okay. So this was lower. So this is a generator that would provide us with external power if we wanted to. But I want to play it kind of like in the Stephen King book. Was it? I think so. It was like a Stephen King book and I only watched the movie where I guess the gist was that there are some monsters eating the world and some people are lucky enough to uh, be on an airline jet and trying to escape and fly around uh, and try to escape or something like that. <laughs> so in a way, maybe we do it kind of like that. Um, also, let's remove, oh no, let's, let's leave that on for now. Um, yeah, the other stuff, I think most of the functionality in here doesn't work because I don't have a flight plan. Uh, so I don't know what any of this means uh, and we will largely ignore this. So this is only to set up um, the thing. So, uh, hi Al, good morning, Captain. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Um, oh, Al also resubscribed, thank you very much. So, um, yes, let's, let's see, let's see how this works. So what I did uh, in the morning was to get the Phoenix Airbus set up, uh, the application and everything. And I figured out how to do the custom camera view. So because in the beginning I figured out, okay, you can scroll around and look around and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I wanted to have some presets. So I set up my stream deck to have like the standard cockpit view. We have the overhead view, then I have this and kind of a zoomed in version of this, whatever it is, pedestal view. Then a dedicated view for the autopilot. Yes, I know that, like I, like I said, I watched some tutorials, right? So I know in general what's going on, but I haven't really used it. Then we have a button just for the middle console. Uh, and then the button for the, what is it called? Electronic flight back. Um, and then the last thing is the view to the left plane. I don't know. And then, ah, yeah, right. And I also set up the drone view button so we can see the plane from the outside. So let's see if we can get this thing started. So what I remember from the tutorial, is in order, oops, oh shit, now I screwed up the view for the drone. Anyway, let's let's quickly reset that uh, like so, and then like so, because I wanted to see in a moment if the engines are starting. Okay, let's press that button. So, if I remember correctly, if this plane is completely shut down, oh, actually, let's read chat also. Uh, and since, I am, what is that? LTE, why on the runway and not the gate? Uh, actually, because I don't know how to set, the, set that up. So, and the thing is, actually, I don't really want to taxi in the first attempt. If this goes well, like, so also for you, Al, the plan is this. We have a cold and dark airplane, everything is off. The plan is to just lift off, try to turn around, and try to land again with, you know, without a flight plan, without anything set up. And I'll try to figure it out on the way. If that works, then we can maybe do the full go with uh, taxiing and all that stuff. But because it's already that uh, so much information after watching the tutorial, my head is kind of, you know, buzzing. The whole taxiing and the whole radio and ATC and all that kind of stuff, I, I can't remember. So I started this idea by watching a tutorial of setting this up and flying. And I thought, OK, anybody can fly an Airbus. It's so easy. It's doing everything for you. And this is kind of like the first attempt of proving that. So, um, yeah. Uh, uh, a 
flight myself. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, and like I said, it could be maybe you haven't uh, listened or, or haven't tuned in yet when I said it. There will be probably a situation where I have no clue what the hell is going on and what I need to do. So that's when you, the, the phone joker, uh, maybe can help. But let's get to start. So what I remember is we need the APU, which is... Uh, I think this engine, I mean, I, I know it's the engine in the back, but I didn't know before watching these tutorials. So this is actually what gives you power uh, when you don't have an external power connected. So if I go back to the cockpit, let's find the APU. In the tutorial, it's also saying that you should go from bottom to top on these panels. Um, and yeah, let's see. Let's see first if we find the APU somewhere. It's probably more here with the engines, I would imagine. Um, there's an APU. Okay. So uh, these overlays are a little bit annoying. Uh, anyway, so master switch sounds good. Can we turn it on? Nope. Okay. Can we press start? Nope. Uh, hmm. First problem. Ah, probably we need batteries. Uh, oh, turn battery on. Okay. Can we do that? Oh, yeah. Ha. <laughs> okay. So, it's, oops. Uh, sorry. Why does it go to this view now? So, we have some power. Uh, but not a lot happening. But maybe now we can engage the... Uh, what do you need to start the APU? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I need power in this plane and we don't have any external power connected. So master switch comes on and let's press start. And I think in the middle of the, if I remember correctly, ah, because everything is off, we don't see anything on these displays. <laughs> okay. Um, if we go to, I mean, hmm. Can we hear it? Mm. Something, something seems to happen, but uh, I don't know. The ch uh, doesn't sound like the <laughs> the uh, the APU is starting, so. Hmm, let's look from the outside. Oh no, it's totally starting. Okay, it's just very quiet, I, apparently, in the jet. But that sounds like it's going and it's, yep. Okay, it's actually quite loud now. Uh, okay. Ha! Huh. It says a veil. Okay, blinky lights. Um, now, do we have... Oh, yeah. Okay, so the plane is powering up now. Um, we can turn off the, the overlay in the MSF options cockpit in action mode legacy. Uh, okay, somebody is really <laughs> casting. This is exactly what you, what you need right now. Okay, good, good. Uh, I will leave the overlays on for now because uh, I don't want to mess too much with the way things work right now. I, I figured out how the, how the controls work, so all good. Okay, so we have power. Now, uh, okay, these are apparently, like, if I remember correctly, this will tell you what's wrong with the airplane and gives you instructions of what to do and this auto flight whatever i don't know and this probably means cabin pressure and if i remember correctly there is a way to give the cabin oxygen and stuff so this is uh, air conditioning, uh, oxygen, uh, crew supply, I think this one. 
Yeah, right. The tutorial also said uh, when you set up this thingy, if I remember correctly, uh, to switch off all white lights. So I press all the buttons that have white lights and... Oops, that's not good. Okay, sorry. Like this. So they all disappeared. Okay, and from playing around earlier, uh, there should be this cabin pressure thingy. Let's look at chat. Uh, sound was everything is okay alarm. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I love the explanation so much. Okay. <laughs> It's all from, uh, I will link the video later on, it's from uh, 320 Sim Pilot. I watched his, you know, full setup tutorial probably two times, yesterday and to this morning. And then I watched the tutorial on how to set up the camera modes. But, you know, the, it's not open right now, so this is now from memory, so to speak. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> uh, that's... I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. Is that correct? Who knows? Um, uh, it still says mode select manual. Um, I mean, what I also learned is that you can clear these <laughs> arrows. Can you? Yep. Okay, they're gone. So let's assume that's fine. <laughs> um, okay, so then I guess uh, I also don't know how to access the checklist in the EBF and everything. So what we'll do is common sense. Um, so the gears are down. That's good. Um, let's look at the thingy here. The flaps are up. I think that's also correct. The speed Break spoilers are oh god how to move this uh uh the speed break is um this one spoilers sorry um that's good the throttle of the engines is there a better way to how do you go to the left right so that's at zero that's probably good uh the engines are off uh, do we need to check any other things here? Somebody follows. Um, Moin Barning. Hello, hello. You should keep the gears down for a while. That's, uh, that's a good... Uh, <laughs> Just cancel, <laughs> just cancel, yes. I mean, you know, it seems fine. There are no warnings, so... One problem I see right here is this. So, uh, you know, uh, th I guess uh, this should display something. Um, so before taking off or just, you know, powering on the engines, I feel like this needs to display something. Um, and yeah, okay, let's, now is the time probably to go through this list and look for options that seem reasonable. I remember this we ignore, oxygen we did, no idea what re resetter is, I don't know what GPWS is, it has fault lights on. Okay, emergency electric power we don't need, evac is probably also not what, something we need. Uh, I would imagine this says flight control and we leave that on. Ah, this one. I remember this one. So if I remember correctly, you put these all three into nav mode. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but I remember that this was a step to do. Okay, and also I remember... Uh, Shouldn't we use uh, the APU bleed or something to put air into the cabin? Turn on APU bleed. I think maybe that's okay. So we finished this uh, for now. Let's look what we see on the screens. Oh, look at this. Uh, I need a view for this here. 
Okay, so we have this on. <laughs> we know what. <laughs> Let's not show you on stream sound. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I have to fix that. But thanks for letting me know. Um, okay. Uh, so if we now go back to the middle console and I'm... Oh man, this console view thingy or the, the cockpit view is annoying. So if I go now to pressure... Mm, unchanged, so I don't know if the APU bleed does anything. Okay, whatever. Uh, we have no warnings on the display, so let's continue. <laughs> um, lights, oh yeah, sure, why not have some lights? Uh, strobe lights... Uh, I think they go on. Mm, beacon lights, sure, why not? Or is, in the, is middle auto? I mean, it doesn't really matter too much because we're not doing Vatsim or anything real. Um, this will leave. Anti-ice, I don't think. Cabin pressure will leave on auto. Whether or not the APU bleed is necessary, I don't know. Um, this looks all good. I don't know why it says fault, but no, nothing is beeping and blinking. Um, the fuel pumps are engaged when the lights are off. This, I don't know, I think we leave that be. I think if you press here, you can test the engine. Fire thingy. I guess that's a very, a very piloty thing to do. To make sure this is working. Okay. Let's see, this I think we also leave alone, ventilation we leave alone, cargo small, cargo heat, flight control we leave alone. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, okay, now, with the autopilot, I have, n ah, right. Okay, so this thing, this is the, the last thing we need to figure out, strobe lights. Uh, we d we're not no, doing the Watson not yet, yeah, because it's just too complex. Okay, so. This, how was this, this thingy? Uh, um, so, okay, I, I, I have a rough idea. So this thing in my uh, unexperienced explanation, this is kind of like setting the, the flight plan and where you want to go and your takeoff speed and all the parameters for the flight. And I have no idea how to do that. But when I uh, watched the tutorial, there was, uh, I made a note or I made a, uh, what do you call it, like a timestamp in the video where he changed something here and then the map showed up. So because I have no idea what these all do and uh, like when you go in here, and I, I mean, I would imagine this is how you enter waypoints. We don't have anything set like this. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, and how to go back even. <laughs> this button? No, this, this is not a button. Uh, uh, how do you go back to the start page? Um, let's press all the buttons. Ah, ah it says MCDU menu, perfect. Um, okay, so if I remember correctly, to get the map going, you go to Atsu <laughs> and then to AOC, maybe. And hmm. Mm, no, I think. If, okay, I think you. Ha Let me quickly. I have on my laptop the video bookmark just to see which screen he is on. <coughs> you don't see the video, but uh, I have it on my laptop here. So he's going for requesting the weather. Uh huh. Okay, so I guess WX weather request. Uh, Edent. So, hmm, what is that gonna be? Is that the, the code of the airport? Let me check what he's doing. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, so... Right. Um, oh God, man, this is already a little stressful because what is our airport uh, setup? Since we didn't enter a flight plan, I don't think you can see it here somewhere, right? Like, can I click on... Is there like a pilot brief <laughs> where it says uh, the, the thingy? Uh, no, you need sim brief for that. Okay. Uh, how about Navigraf? Is that giving us some information where we are? Uh, skip the skip step. Uh, uh, oh, we get a map. Can we... How do you zoom in? Ah, okay, that's it. Okay, that's... Ah, right. Oops, sorry. Uh, I think we can use uh, V, right? There's an inbuilt map. Okay, if we zoom in, right. EDDT. I think that's what you enter. Let's see if that's true. Uh, control 1 to go here. So, EDDT. Oops, uh, yeah, no. And then uh, you press the button where it should go. Oh, yeah. And I don't know. Do we select both? Let's select one and see what it does. Oh man, this interface. Uh, no response. Mm. Hmm. Okay, let's look. Okay, still no map. Damn it. <laughs> this can take a while. Stay, stay, stay with me, guys. I th wasn't it like this? Oh, this has not B D D T. Isn't that what T did? So we put that in. We'll s let's select both, I guess. We'll send that. And then something happens. Okay. Do we now have the map? No, still no map. Okay. Uh, I thought this is how he got it to work, but maybe there's something else. So, you know, this will be a while. Pad official gear. No, that's. I mean, self-destruct mode activated. So yeah, I'm struggling to figure out how to do that. Do we need to maybe? Uh, what else could we do here? I I don't know why it's reset. Like why it's not taking my edent. I thought you didn't do much different than that. And for him, because he had a flight plan, it was already set up. So let's put that in one more time. I want this and this. Uh, return just brings me back, I guess. Yeah, okay. So sorry. E, D, D, T. So um, yeah, maybe we should look for other options. Um, since this is not working, um, I think this has nothing to do with showing the map. So maybe there's another, I don't know, uh, maybe there's another warning in the middle that tells us, uh, Tika standby, APU bleed, no. Oh, wait. Okay, we got this thing. Okay, I don't I have no idea how that appeared, if that just took some time after we did the weather request. Um, ah, it can take a while to know exactly how long. Um, so, I think this is the time when we start the engines because we have no warnings. We have this, I wanted to have the heading indicator. I don't know otherwise how you get like a heading. And 
Um, also from the tutorials, I remember you should start with uh, or take off with flaps one. So let's put flaps to uh, position one and confirm on the left wing that stuff is happening. Ah, we need we need the engines first, I think, perhaps. So let's uh, <laughs> put the flaps back. Uh, another follower. Thanks for following. Um, okay, let's let's start the engines then. That will be fun. Okay, <laughs> uh, so you put this on. Oh, go go away. Uh, to start, and then uh, all the tutorials I've seen, people start one engine after another. So let's put engine two on, and then go to the middle screen. So engine two stuff is happening. Actually, uh, let's remove this, and for now, let's remove this. So ETG is the temperature, the ex exit gas temperature or something like that. So this is saying basically that we're burning fuel. Okay, the ignition switch went back. And now let's look into the drone view. And we see indeed engine two is spinning. Yeehaw. So I'm not sure how, how long you're supposed to wait before you start the second engine. Exhaust gas temperature, nice, okay. Good. Um, so I guess this is running. <laughs> Still no warnings. Uh, Red WS of predicted wind speed. Is that what it's saying? Okay, whatever that means, I don't know. Um, okay, let's start engine two. And numbers appear on, <laughs> on here. And the thing is, I don't know, if you don't have set anything in in the flight computer or anything, if we can even use the autopilot. Or if, uh, if because the thing is the Airbus, why I'm saying the Airbus is so easy to fly from what I've seen, is because um, you have, uh, um, how to show you this? I mean, most of you know from Al, but in the Airbus, you don't have like the central steering stick or whatever you call it. You have the side stick. And this is not uh, like a traditional uh, control joystick. It's basically controlling, like you, you can say you want to roll and you want to pitch, and then you can get the stick back to neutral and the plane will just stabilize and keep it in the direction you've put it in. So you don't have to constantly stabilize and uh, play with the, the steering and it also auto trims so you don't have to set up the trim manually like you ac apparently have to do in a 737. Okay, um, so both engines are on the, that's fuel used. Okay, I don't know why this value is higher than the right one. Is that the oil? I don't know. Uh, anyway, I guess now we could do this, put it back to normal. And now I would imagine uh, we don't need the APU anymore. So let's, I guess, just switch the master switch off. And is there, is there a uh, APU? There's an APU screen. So is that turning off or not? Uh, looks like it's still on. So uh, maybe put that to, oh no. Uh, the a APU bleed also off. Are you supposed to turn it off? I don't know. Okay, the, I don't know. The master switch is off. 
Um, maybe it just, just takes a while. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> maybe this is normal. Maybe it just takes a while. Okay, so now let's see if flaps one work and we look out of the left wing. Aha! Looky, looky at my flaps cookie. And we can still see the cones around, so... Um, we have idle engine. Uh, our parking brake is still on. So I think I have to go here into the Phoenix app and into ground services and remove the cocks and co chocks, chocks and cones. Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, and now if we go to drone view we are i think ready to go so what i've learned oops i always forget that this is bad anyway what i learned is the the takeoff speed is like somewhere around 100 uh, <clears throat> i actually forgot but like 130 40 ish so the plan is we we spool up the engines. Look at this uh, terminology I'm using there. Uh, <laughs> we spool up the engines, release the parking brake, go, try to go straight on the runway. And then when we're about like 130, 140 or something, I guess we'll try to lift up and go, uh, I don't know, 15 degrees, I think is what you do. Any last words in the chat? Uh, also, because I don't know if the, the, the autopilot will work, I would just set it to 10,000 feet, I guess. I don't know if you have to press this or anything. Uh, and we'll try to, to uh, engage and also the heading. Uh, our current heading is 250 something. So if I set this, to the same as our current heading. So if I engage the autopilot, it should hopefully, if it works, stay on the, the axis of the runway. So that's the theory. I don't know if we're supposed to set a speed uh, and what that speed should be. I'd imagine maybe 250 or so. Let's see, I, uh, again, no idea. All right. So one last check. The 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 flaps are on position one. Oops. Ah man, I hate the con. Nope. Sorry. Uh, uh, how do we go sideways? So the flaps are on position one. Uh, yeah. So the speed br uh, the the parking brake is still on. So if we go and uh, zoom in on the throttle here a little bit, and I've mapped that to my joystick, so I'm using a joystick. So I think if we go like 50 percentish, just to keep the engines or rev up the engines, so to speak. Oh, it's a little bit much, but oh no, it's actually exactly at five, 50 almost. Yeah. So, okay, moment of truth, peeps. Uh, let's uh, really, oh, what is that view? Okay. Um, so let's release the, oh, did I press the button? No. Let's release the parking brake. Let's go full throttle. have this elevated yeah okay so uh, people also say you should put pin uh, put the nose forward in the beginning so we had 120 okay uh, 140 so that should be fine I think oh man okay we still have the objectives oh look at this too low terrain whatever too low terrain we're flying too low. Terrain. Okay, so if I now I let go of the joystick. Too low. Terrain. Bremen approach Airbus November 320. And it seems Sierra. to stabilize, so we can straighten it out. Feet. Request flight following. Okay, whatever. So that's the thing about the Airbus. I need don't need to do anything with the joystick, even without autopilot. 
so uh, we need to maybe get the flaps up and maybe uh, stop talking on the radio i don't i'm not listening and <laughs> put the gear up <laughs> i don't know what you're saying Roger, Airbus Zero, Foxtrot, Sierra. Okay, so easy. Remen approach, Airbus November, Tree 20, uh, Foxtrot, Sierra. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Okay, we're, we're rising. Airbus November, oh, could they stop talking, please? <laughs> Is there a way to switch off the radio? Uh, Cleared through Charlie airspace, okay. Airbus Zero, Foxtrot, Sierra. Um, now, next Airbus steps. Zero, Transponder in operative. Okay, yeah, right. We have to check these warnings. Cabin pressure, LDG elevation fault, LDG elevation adjust. Not sure what that means. Oh, but let's let's try. Let's try the autopilot. So. It works. Look, it's going there. Man, I wish we can. Can we turn off the 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 radio at all? Like if I. I guess not. One one four three. Do we do we have to set that? One one four three. Is that a thing we need to set? Oh man, can we type that? Nope. Okay, whatever. Not. Uh oh. Uh. Over speed. Okay. 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 Uh. Let's pull back the throttle. And I think it's supposed to be in climb mode. Jesus. Uh, autopilot off. Okay, that's not good. Let's try to put that back on. Jesus, what is going on? Okay, can we just clear anything here, maybe? <laughs> uh, just clear. Clear. Can you stop beeping? I don't know what what's going on. Airbus Zero Foxtrot Sierra ATC services terminated. ATC okay. services terminated. That's okay. Berlin Center Airbus November Three Two Zero Foxtrot Sierra is tight Airbus One Zero miles south of Echo Delta Oscar uh, India Thirteen Thousand One Hundred Feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Uh, I want to go to. Airbus November Three Two Zero Foxtrot Sierra Berlin Center. Oh man, I, the, the the most stressful thing is the talking actually. Engage approach mode, disengage expedite. So it's not changing the elevation. Sheesh. Uh, try control alt delete. Well, the thing is uh, in the ATC menu. Okay, for now they shut up, so it's okay. So uh, what? Yeah, how do I? make sure we're going to this height because that will probably be important when we try to land uh okay i can calm down also a little bit because that was a little bit stressful uh let's press the expedite button does that change oh i, I think that that works okay So, I don't know where the speed is set. I think if any th everything is dashed, then the, the autopilot is taking care of things. I don't know if there are sensible defaults for the speed because uh, it's auto throttling. Because I put the throttle into climb mode or into this climb notch. Uh, is anything else here that we need to check? No, I think it's good. Uh, so, 
Let's see if we're leveling off now. We do. So here is like a blue thingy. And there are red thingies. Uh, I'm assuming that is when we're too fast. So will it slow down by itself? So the engines are pretty high. Is that where we level off with the speed? Looks like it. Okay, so I don't know where this blue thingy comes from. Oh, speed 340. It says now here. Okay, cool. <laughs> So I would say anybody can fly an air bus or at least get it off the <laughs> get it off the ground. Uh, when do we get our meals? Uh, so let's let's read the chat quickly. Um, uh, okay, so you all tell tell me. Okay, I can disable the ATC. Mitsukatsu said, "Could you please just shut up? I'm trying to fly the plane here." Yes, exactly. Honestly, like all these bings and bongs and warnings i mean i guess the warnings are important that you look at the screen and read the warnings uh, so that you know you need to clear them and ignore them <laughs> but uh, all, everything they're saying is probably also super useful information but for now i'm just trying to fly the plane and escape the apocalypse or something you know uh, and then uh I think you are going down again. No, no, no. We're yeah because I uh, I climbed too high for what I wanted to have as my temporary cruise altitude, I guess. Um, right. So that's that. Uh, and the reason why it says aviate, navigate, communicate. Ah, oh, yeah. I heard that before. Um, you want to have something to eat? Just asking. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, now. Now that we're in the air, right? We're not doing much sightseeing here. The plan is now to land this thing. And this is the, whoop, the more scary part. But look at us. A look at us fly. No fire, no damages. Just cruising for a bruising is, I guess, the motto. Um, how's the volume levels, by the way? Can you hear me okay? Is the engine or the airplane too loud? Should I lower the volume right now? I think we're stable, so... Uh, there are no warnings. This is amazing. <laughs> This is amazing. Uh, let's check the overhead panel. Nothing, nothing terrible here, I guess. <laughs> nothing terrible here. So the now the question is how to get back. That's great. Okay. Help sign in the windows. Uh because the printer broke yeah let's look at uh, the left wing i mean uh, like isn't there control nine uh i don't see you guys where are you <laughs> nobody in here um everybody's hiding in the bathroom or throwing up maybe <laughs> okay so i have no flight plan um uh, i know ett was it e oh oh shit i forgot EDDT. So here, if I open this map and we zoom out, oh god, I don't see the airport anymore. Is it? Ah, yeah, EDDT. I should write that down. Uh, maybe. I don't know if it's relevant or not, but let's do it. Uh, do I have something to write on? Uh, pen. Where's my pen? Uh oh. Uh, pen is here. So E T D E D D T is where we want to go to. Now I don't know how we do that, but the important thing is <laughs> the important thing is we set the autopilot heading uh, in line with the runway. So in theory, this is two five eight. 
we could just hard turn around, not even go the correct way on the runway. And it's literally just, okay, whatever we need to touch down with this plane, okay? Um, the other option would be, uh, I think I prefer this option already, but uh, let's see the other option. <laughs> Uh, the other option would be we, we figure out how to do this. Now, this could be the thing where uh, Al comes in and tells us, hey, you need to program in a waypoint and whatever, yeah, yeah. But we could do that also in the second flight. And for now, we just try to really hobo land this plane on the runway the worst possible way. And all you experienced sim pilots, you can tell me afterwards how realistic this is. I have no flight plan. Are you sure that you need to be that specific? Yeah, you know, I, I don't I even I don't know. I I don't know how how this will work. But um, okay. Anyway. Uh, so let's do a quick calculation. So 258. Uh, 258. Let's do a hobo landing, shall we? Um, or try. <laughs> uh, so that would be 78 degrees. I have no idea if we're far enough away to make a turnaround already. If that's sufficient space. Oh, and oh, we got a new follower, Tom West. Hello, hello. <laughs> no, Hobo Landing is no idea what you're doing, no waypoints, no navigational aids, uh, ex except for setting the thing. Also, by any chance, is this white line indicating where the runway is oriented? Where is the airport? Why doesn't it show it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, but hmm, they're all... Oh no, they're not all in this direction. So let's assume that this is the way the runway goes. So we are currently slightly on a different course. So if we... I don't know. Hmm, how to do that best. I'm not sure. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's dial in 78 degrees. And as we can see, the autopilot gets to work. <laughs> so, I'm amazed actually. After watching all these videos by Mento... Oh shit, I, I touched the, the throttle lever. Nope, uh, that's bad. Uh, put it back to climb. Sorry. Uh, is it back to climb? It is. Is that only the speed warning? Over speed, okay. Autopilot is still engaged. Uh, auto throttle is still engaged. Are we too fast for turning? Can we... I'm not sure. So it says we should be 230 and it's correcting for that. Don't know who said we have to be that way or is it because we cannot turn that fast? Oh, come on. Clear warnings. <laughs> Wow, these are annoying. Yeah, <laughs> that was actually <laughs> quite classic. I'm, but I'm, I'm, I am surprised how easy it is. I mean, I watched the tutorial twice. Okay, so if you're a complete noob and have no idea what you're doing, sure, you, you probably don't get that far. But watching, I, I mean, I never paid attention to what Al is doing when he's flying really in the cockpit and what button he presses in which order and I just pressed or I watched this this tutorial which I should link actually in the chat um, twice and this is what I remember from it so plus I don't actually know how to land now that's I haven't watched that far 
Um, I remember from other videos that we should probably be lower than 10,000 and I don't know, since we, we don't follow any restrictions, uh, I think it's good to... So 3,000 feet, is that like 1,000 meters kind of? One kilometer? And again, it doesn't do that now. So I, I, this thing I don't understand. Expedite mode. Shouldn't it just go now, gently? I don't need it to be expedited, but okay. I don't know why. Also, now we are uh, a little misaligned, so I guess we should turn a little bit more, 80 degrees. The loud sound will help you <laughs> concentrate, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 mentor pilot, uh, definitely. I, somebody was saying that mentor pilot um, does too much accident coverage now and analysis and I would agree I like his instructional videos actually better I would probably write him a message and drop that feedback <laughs> yeah 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 I mean extreme situations uh, you know this is an extreme situation yeah don't don't worry I mean it's a simulator um, <laughs> I mean, I'm... Ah, how confident am I that I can land this? I think the chances that I successfully land this is... Maybe 30%? 25? Can we see the airport? Doesn't look like it, okay. The thing is, and I mean, before we commit to the landing, we can also make a pass over when we're closer, see how the runway actually looks like. So I'm still assuming that this is the line of the runway. So we should uh, intercept that line probably to get a better alignment. And it's not like that I never flown a plane in a simulator before, right? So it's, uh, it's not... Uh, Aunt Mary never played a computer game as trying to land an Airbus um, or airliner jet. <laughs> but yeah. And I can tell you, if I would sit in the cockpit, in a real cockpit right now, I would poop my pants for sure. But, you know. I would love that in VR, even as your passenger, yeah. 50% either you do or you don't. Um, yep. Turn off the map, it will be cheating. No, come on, guys. I, like, uh, there's no way I'm landing this without a map. No way. Uh, this is... And I would expect that there's a map on this thingy. I mean, there is a map. And I'm not using waypoints or anything. What is this down there? I guess just a small shitty rendered city. Um, so I need I need this at the bare minimum to to figure out where I'm flying. Okay. Uh, this is a must. Did I hit a lever again, or is that just the plane auto throttling? Ah, okay, we're at three thousand. So I feel like. Do we go even lower? I'm scared that we arrive too high and then have not enough time to get lower. So I will set this to 2000. I think that's still plenty of high. It would really help if we could see the runway though. Ah, now it's rendering. 2,500. No, it's not. But there were new lines. <laughs> uh, okay, um, let's say that's cool. I still don't see the airport. Which worries me a slight bit, but we're flying in the right direction, I'm sure. 
Steglitz is coming up okay. So let's go through the things we have to do for landing. Reduce altitude for sure. Klein Schwarzlosen, whatever that is. Um, never heard that village name before. Uh, we have to take the gear out. We have to take the flaps out. I don't know how m much flaps, full flaps or whatever. Uh, we need to do something about speed brakes and we should check out how to reverse the engines because I think that's something you do when you land. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, I, I don't want to zoom in and accidentally click something. Okay, so this says reverse. So I would imagine that we go to zero and then when we touch down, we pull that into uh, re reverse and that's doing the reverse thing. Uh, <laughs> it's not that I haven't flown with the simulator. Oh, <laughs> are you taking? Me? Yeah, I mean, you're stuck with me. Thanks for following, Molox. Um, you're stuck with me now. Pray to the heavens above that I will get you safely down to the ground. Okay, are we moving? Feels like we're not moving. Did I accidentally pause the simulation or something? No, we're moving. Okay. Buch, I remember that. Okay, so where were we? Um, so we figured out how to reverse the engines. Then the spoilers. Uh, I don't know if you need to arm them or if you can just pull them out when you're down. What else? Ah, uh, oh right. I guess because I, I did one flight in a prop machine uh, when I first installed a flight simulator just to see that anything works. And I used the parking brake to stop the plane. But I remember in the Airbus there's this auto brake system. I'm not sure if you can engage that with the gear up, so I will leave it like this for now. But this is probably also very useful so we get to stop in the end okay um, now we're about to intercept this uh, line I would really love to know if that line corresponds with the direction of the runway I, I think it is because it was less than it was 258 right so 270 would be straight and two yeah that should be it should be okay not sure what these red lines are all about here are these corridors that we should take <laughs> no idea um. <laughs> and i thought elite was complicated <laughs> uh it's a role-playing game okay um can we use Google Maps on your phone? Exactly. Sure, why not? Just make sure to switch your mobile in airplane mode, otherwise Google Maps shows the wrong map. Haha. -ha. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing. Like, uh, I mean, if we really want a cold and dark and completely manual uh, thingy, then I need Al. <laughs> so let's dial in now our what was it, 60, 76 heading? So we should be kind, or 78, I think it was. Uh, that should align us now somewhat with the airport. Okay, you do this stuff. Are we seeing a runway again? No, we're not. So yeah, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, if we'll see. I still think we're not aligned properly. I wish I could draw a line here like on a sailing, like when, when you do sailing and you work with maps, you always have like this um, quick course measurement, uh, what do you call it even in English? Dividers where you can quickly set up or see the, the angle you have to fly. So I will still go a bit to the right, just so we have a better chance of 
aligning ourselves with that line that I assume is the runway orientation. Let's look out the window if there's an airport somewhere. Not really. I mean, we could use drone view, I guess. <laughs> Oops, no, Oop. okay, let's not use drone view. <laughs> I mean, we're flying, I guess, kind of low. Ah, I hate that button. The aligning is usually done with the localizer. Yes, uh, I heard about the localizer. If I knew how to operate it, I would use it. But since I don't, um, yeah <laughs> i don't know where is that airport shouldn't it be i don't know where it should be the important thing is we're flying uh is that is that wind turbulence why did it shake and by the way for the whole time, right after the liftoff, I didn't touch the joystick at all. And that's the thing, like when I watched Mentor Pilot and 74 gear and then also the Sim Pilots, like 320 Sim Pilot, he has called, and Squirrel, like it, if I had the choice whether I want to fly Boeing or Airbus or let's say a 737 or an H320, I would definitely go for an H320 because this seems just so convenient. <laughs> not having to trim yourself, not having to deal with all these other things um, in terms of steering the plane. It's so convenient that this is just taking care of most of it. <clears throat> so this line... I guess... Huh, I'm really eyeballing this, right? Uh, uh, that could work soon. I think when, we, when we're close to the river, then we turn to th uh, 78 again. Uh, a good pilot always loses the airport once in flight. That's what I learned. <laughs> Pilots are glorified bus drivers, indeed. That gives an A, a good pi yeah. until something breaks. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, we could totally do, and I would love to do, uh, like this setting up the flight computer and set up a waypoint and actually do an approach and not do, do the hobo landing. However, I feel. Uh, it would be cool to manage a hobo landing like this and just, you know, get this airplane down with minimal experience and minimal effort. Is this the airport? Huh. I don't know. Shouldn't be, shouldn't we see Berlin also? Uh, <laughs> okay, now this is the tricky part, the orientation. So we are now flying east to like towards Tegel. So Berlin should be kind of here behind it. Okay. Hmm. And minimum casualties. True. <laughs> Very true. Uh, okay, time to drink something, maybe like the gin and tonic that was mentioned earlier, why not? <laughs> Kidding, I'm drinking, of course, mineral water. Also, the thing is, without the flight computer, not knowing how far you're away from the airport actually is a little bit... Uh, I guess if you do this... Oh, no, it, I thought it would give you the lines oh now we see the runway and indeed okay it is aligned with this line so that's good to know let's leave it on that zoom level for now i don't know what this is so we'll leave it off i wish i could 
see it already, but it should be now pretty much straight ahead. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, we see the airport confirmed. Visuals confirmed. Now, also, I don't know what the landing speed should be. I'm assuming that since the takeoff speed is 100, like we lifted off at 140 ish, we shouldn't be faster than that, I would guess. Um, so we need w a way to reduce speed and if we want to leave the autopilot on as long as possible i guess if we extend the flaps that would take off some speed and then we can take out the gear that would also take out speed then we don't have to forget the auto brake setup um yeah and then just hope for the best <laughs> um no 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 I'm, i will do manual landing the autopilot is just for staying in the air and uh, doing the turnaround i believe uh, to have the autopilot land the plane you need to set up the flight computer it cannot just automatically la I mean we're bang on I think maybe going to 77 maybe I'll go away oh, I hate this overlay let's go like okay I think uh, we should really get going now so I will go to a thousand feet this is becoming uh, close the voice is becoming more hectic. So, uh, we'll do that. I don't know, can we extend the flaps already? I'm not sure. Okay, our speed is a little high for my taste now. I don't know, can we reduce it? So let's go here. If I set the flaps now, what will happen? I'm assuming we'll get a warning. Yes. But is the speed reducing? So we are in auto throttle. Uh, okay, this is getting now nerve wracking. Yes, okay, it does it, perfect. So I would say we go to uh, I don't know, flaps, t full flaps out, assuming the auto throttle will do the rest, yes, uh, get the gears out, oh god, we're getting close, okay, shit, uh, okay, I'll put my hand on the stick now, uh, no, not yet, Okay, uh, the gears are down. Let's put the auto brake on. And I don't know if we need it, but I will just uh, say spoilers armed for whatever good that does. Uh, I will now disengage the autopilot. So we're now in control. And I will shift a little bit over, reduce speed. I don't know, is that okay because the autopilot is off? Okay, we need to go down. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, let's use this view so I need to see the altimeter. Let's disable auto thrust. I think we're coming in too hot. Let's, rem let's put the engines down to idle. Ah, oh, I should have taken a longer runway, I think. Okay, speed is not too bad. Oh boy, here we go. Please work. So this is me flying, no autopilot. Ah, uh, the objectives, yeah, whatever. I'm not looking at the objectives, whatever it says. Uh, we'll focus on the approach. Okay, that's good. I think we're looking good. Uh, the speed, I think we might need a little bit more engine thrust. Just a bit. Oh god, I should take taken totally the longer runway. 
Is that enough thrust? Are we fast enough? Are we pitched correctly? I have no idea. Brace, brace, brace. <laughs> oh god, I'm sweating. Oh. 100. Okay, I think that's good. Cut the engine. Thrust. Ooh. 40. 30. And nose 20. up. Retard. Oh! 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 Stay, 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 stay. Okay. A little bit of rudder to get back into the center. And we don't need reverse thrust, I think. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> we landed this thing. Oh, a parking brake. Uh, Holy sh shit. <laughs> wow, I'm actually sweating a little bit here. Wow. Uh -huh. 